Game Console Repairs. In this video, I'll be showing you how to fix a PlayStation 3 Slim Blu ray drive. The model we have here is 320 gig CEC H3002B. It's one of the latest ones. Uh, the problem here is there's a disc stuck in the Blu ray drive. Um, as you can see, if I try to insert a disc, uh, uh, the eject feed mechanism is blocking it because there's already a disc in there. If you try to press the eject button, nothing happened, it's not spinning out the disc. Okay, there are there is there are a couple of ways to fix it. First, um, the easy one, just um, you know you can grab another Blu-ray drive and replace the PCB. Uh, second is we'll be opening up the console, uh, we'll be manually uh, taking out the disc and resetting the gear and finally resetting the eject feed mechanism. Alright, let's get going. These are the tools required in order to open up your PS3 Slim. Phillips number 0 screwdriver, uh, Phillips number 1 screw bit or a screwdriver, Phillips number 2 screw bit or a screwdriver, Torx T8 screw bit or a screwdriver, small Phillips flathead screwdriver or microton precision screwdriver, metal spudger and scalpel. Okay, flip it over. And let's remove all the rubber pads in the plastic pad. Uh, there's another plastic pad under the warranty security seal, so peel this off. Okay, we'll be unscrewing unscre all these screws. Next, uh, get your Torx T8 screwdriver and remove these four screws. Next, we can simply lift up the top cover. Uh, there you go, our top is separated. Next, uh, we'll be removing these two screws and we'll be taking out the power supply unit. Disconnect these two cables. And now you can take off the power supply. Simply pull it up. Okay, these two metal bars they go in here, so simply just pull it up. Next we'll be removing this screw here and we'll be disconnecting these three cables. So let's just disconnect these three cables. Okay, next step is crucial. Uh, you are able to lift off the, the Blu-ray drive, however, there is a lens cable still connected to the motherboard. So, lift it up gently, gently, but as you can see, there is, it's connected via, uh, it's connected to the latch there. So, all you need to do is unclip it. So, unclip it and the cable comes off. Now you can take off the Blu-ray drive. Okay, now we'll be working with the Blu-ray drive mostly. Okay, now that we have our Blu-ray drive ready, we'll be opening it up. Uh, We'll be removing the disc manually and we'll be resetting the whole gear. Once you reset the whole gear, it resets the eject feed mechanism as well. Alright, all you need is a Phillips zero screwdriver. Alright, let's get going. Uh, first, open this screw. Next, there are two long screws here. Uh, next, you can lift the top cover up. Uh, there are two clips here, 
ones here uh, simply unclip it and then there's one on this side this clip and now you can lift up the top cover okay top cover is removed remove the magnetic spindle as you can see there's a disc stuck in there now uh, we'll be removing the top plastic uh, case in order to do that we have to remove one Phillips screw it's a long Phillips screw okay now there's a small clip here that you need to unclip in order to take this off so there's the clip so simply unclip it and then there's a clip here as well so two clips so unclip this one and this one and you can lift up the cover so this is unclipped this is unclipped now remove these two clips here as well all right you have to gently pull it up and clip this, this is stuck in there ok, gently ok, so that's our disc take it out There's not anything wrong with the top. It's already. It's once you take out the disc that resets itself. Uh, this is what we need to reset. This plastic clip should be in this position, and this is the eject feed mechanism clip. And as you can see, it's thinking that there's a disc in there already, so you cannot put any other disc. What are we going to do? We'll be resetting it, and this should be pressed down okay first in order to reset it take this gear off uh, next flip it over I won't be opening the bottom case all the way over as there are three cables and you have to put back the cables and this is a very annoying cable to put it back so take this off Okay, simply unclip this clip again, that's holding the top cover, okay, and gently pull it up like this. No need to open it up all the way, that's your drive open, and what we'll be doing, we'll be taking this plastic gear off. Once you take it off, this basically reset the whole drive. So just to show you, okay. So we'll be taking this one off. Simply, gently pull it up, and you'll see that all the uh, elements will snap in. Okay, that's the gear and the eject feed mechanism has been reset put back the clip, put back the cover, put back the screw ok alright let's come back to him as you can see this has come to its original normal position here and this is now pressed down and now it's able to accept discs that's all okay let's put it all back together put in our PS3 and test it out and see if it all works alright next put back this gear put back the top Clip it in, clip this in, clip this in. Let's put back our long screw here. Okay, so 
that's all firmly in place let's put back the magnetic spindle and let's put back our top cover okay so it should look like this this one clipped in same on this side clipped in as well next we'll put these two big long screws here okay the one last screw put this one here and it's all ready good to go okay we have taken out the disc manually and we have reset the whole gear and the check feed mechanism okay let's put it back in the ps3 and test it out and see if it all works thank you next we're replacing the drive back in the ps3 um, step one take your power reset switch board off and this okay this lens cable it goes in there in this clip so all you need to do is it's a bit of a guesswork here actually just align it first with these two connectors over here once aligned then we have to um, place this connector in place okay it's a bit difficult to show okay there's a clip here unclip it first and then just that's the only way I figured it out so simply place it in the connector Uh, once it's in, just clip it down and align your Blu-ray drive to holes here and then place your um, power reset switchboard on the top and simply push it down. Okay, once that's connected, um, we'll be connecting three cables and we'll be placing this screw so, alright let's put this screw in first okay now simply connect these three cables okay once the cables are connected let's put back our power supply unit simply align the two metal bars here so Okay, and then place these two screws connect the two cables grab your top simply align these three clips um, over here so sure everything's clipped in flip it over and place all these screws next place the four Torx T8 screws here next um, place the rubber pads in these plastic clips that's it thank you Thanks for watching the videos, please go to gc-repairs.com to purchase all the tools and accessories you need. Thank you.